Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, so Toronto Raptors, Los Angeles Lakers tonight, 4 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. <sighs> As you guys know, I've been dealing with my flu and all that good stuff since day five. Uh, I feel great right now in comparison to what I did with starting earlier throughout the course of the week, but still not out of the woods. We're on the tail end of it. Doesn't feel that great to talk, but I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Um... Toronto Raptors are not going to be fine, though. They are a team that has not won in a full calendar month. Their last win was on the 3rd of March. It is the 2nd of April. That's how bad they've been. A lot of stuff had to do for them uh, with with some things that were unfortunate. R.J. Barrett uh, lost his little brother, unfortunately. I also understand that Emmanuel quickly had a, a, a death close to him as well. So... That kind of pulled two of their best players away from the situation. Uh, Scotty Barnes has some type of hand injury at the same time. Uh, Jakob Perto is hurt. So it, it, when that happens and your team is looking to tank anyway, you just let the bottom fall all the way out. If you look at the injury report on this game tonight, you could probably see about 10 people on there for the, for the Toronto Raptors. They're literally going to sit their whole team, man. They are running guys like Grady Dick, Bruce Brown, um... Some dude named Freeman, Liberty Freeman, uh, you tell me. Uh, that That's what you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of that, those type of hopefuls try to make a name for themselves tonight. Uh, Jate Porter in his uh, situation that, that's been investigated, essentially saying that some interesting stuff was happening in regards to betting on his name. So he's out for personal reasons. So it's like it's just the Toronto Raptors are not the Toronto Raptors right now. Uh, the NBA scheduled us to play them at the end of the season where they, they're tanking. So we don't get the full dynamic going to the six. Uh, you know, they're going to be wearing their, their Drake gold uniforms tonight against us. We're going to have our city uh, black jerseys that we uh, won most of our in-season championship games in. I haven't seen that thing in a very long time. I like it a lot. I hope they keep it around. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the Lakers are coming off a game where we beat the Brooklyn Nets by, I don't remember exactly how much we won by, but Bron hit nine threes and really uh, captured the crowd's imagination by doing so. Definitely one for the, for the history books. And so we're kind of carrying that momentum into this one. I don't know if Bron will give it a go tonight. I don't know if AD will go either. They probably would be wise to sit some guys tonight. This is the night where you, I'm not saying sit everybody, but... If you want to buy yourself some rest before the playoffs and you're looking for a game where you can really buy yourself some rest, this is that game. Because the Toronto Raptors really aren't providing themselves a whole lot of uh, a lot to work with. They don't want to win. They're making it clear that they let the bottom come out of their season. They haven't won in over a, mo a month. So, it, you know, I, I don't think they want to play. Now, RJ, from what I understand, and Scotty could actually suit up for this game. And coming get a back against the Lakers would not surprise me. But I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. But I, I saw some injury reports where both of those names were game cop decisions. And then I saw some injury reports where uh both of those names were out. So multiple reports. It's still early in the morning. I'm not sure what's gonna happen there, but when you're going against the Lakers, you love to come back. So that could be expected. It could be, but nevertheless, man, we know Bruce Brown is healthy, and it was a lot of uh, rumors about him possibly becoming a Laker, and this is where he ended up. So I know he's going to have a problem with that. So if anybody's going to play competitive ball tonight, it's Bruce Brown. I'm just letting you know. He going to want to drop 50 because you should have went and got him, and now he's stuck in NBA Siberia instead of playing for an NBA championship opportunity, and he's coming off a championship. Shouldn't have signed that old big contract with the Pacers, man. You know they overpaid you, bro. And now look where you at. <laughs> Doesn't always pay to get paid. I'm telling you. Some of y'all love money, but some of y'all love to win, too. And there ain't no balance in some of these situations. Bruce Brown is a cautionary tale for that. So, yeah, man. Uh, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm still trying to overcome the, the this aspect of the, uh, of the, of the flu. Um, we're almost there though. We're almost there, but unfortunately there's two back to backs. I would have loved for them to just not play until Friday or something like that. I would really been great then, but yeah, man, we're still in this phase. So 
Uh, I'm going to cut this one short, but I did want to let everybody know that the Lakers play the Toronto Raptors tonight and that the Raptors are quite literally the worst, play, worst team in basketball, and it's not close. They're trying to be. They're effective at it. I don't even think Drake will show up for this one tonight. That's how bad his team is. And uh, hopefully our team does so we can just continue them on a losing streak that uh, never ends for their sake so they can get the first pick overall in the draft. That's what they want. So, yeah, just come in here and play, play good ball and, and get out of here healthy. From what I understand, Gabe Vincent is not going to give it a go. I don't really know what's going on there. He just got back. Maybe they're doing the cautionary thing where they don't, you know, they're, they're, they're being cautious with bringing him back too much too soon, I guess. But this is the game you play him. This is definitely the game you play him. So if there was a setback of some kind, maybe that makes more sense. Otherwise, it's just the Lakers doing it absolutely backwards. Um, Cam Reddish is out for personal reasons. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, hopefully everything is all right. Uh, and the usual suspects. Colin Castleton, of course, is back, as we know. I don't know if he'll play tonight. We'll see. Hopefully this is the night he does get a lot of run. Uh, Jackson Hayes, game top decision. Of course, he missed the last one at Brooklyn. Uh, Christian Wood still out. Vanderbilt still out. So, yeah, I expect the Lakers to rest the people tonight. I'll be very surprised if we come out there as healthy as possible. I really would be surprised. Bron probably shouldn't play. AD probably shouldn't play either, to be honest with you. Um, as bad as we need wins... We also really need rest, and you're not going to find, you are absolutely not going to find a team more ready to let you beat them with your third stringers than the Toronto Raptors. And it's not the Wizards. So if the Lakers think, oh, the Wizards suck too. No, the Wizards have been winning games. So if you think you're going to come in tomorrow night off a of back-to-back, having had everybody play tonight, um, that may not be the move either. You know what I mean? We want to we rest, man. So this is the game to rest between the two of them. Uh, so that's pretty much where my head is, man. I'm going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is going to be it's gonna be a game where somebody's going to try to make a name for themselves. we got to be very careful with some of these Freeman, Liberty, you know, nobody named dudes. We don't know who these guys are. And these are the kind of dudes that come up, score 50 on you, score 40, try to make a name for themselves, especially against the Lakers. So we need to be very careful with that tonight, Darvin. BDL 44, I thank you all for watching. I'm out.